If you guys need Ultimate Team Coins, you can coinzone.com. Links in the description. Dirty will get you a discount. G2A will also hook it up. If you want to get involved with buying different games, codes, all of the above, FIFA points on a better discounted rate. Ooh. What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike, and we're live from the Maldives. I've got a special guest. We're going to teach you how to become better at FIFA 16, the keys to success. If you've never checked out Basin's content, you're missing out on premium material. Ain't that right? So, off your answer, sir. Yeah, from the Maldives as well. Hot. From, from the oh yeah, Hot. It, it's spicy right now. Look at that hair. But yeah, if you want to see yeah, more look content, at that hair. <laughs> if you want to see more content, drop a thumbs up. I'm trying to produce some good stuff out here. Expect a vlog coming soon. Let's get right into it. These are the five ways to get better. Not necessarily in order, but we're gonna discuss it. We're gonna leave it open for some opinions. And first up, we have patience in build up. With the way Ultimate Team is now, definitely the slow paced build up. Not always passing forward is very, very beneficial as well because moving players uh, from your opposition out of defense and then spreading it to the left or to the right can be beneficial, leaving massive gaps. And especially that simple ball through will be a lot better. Number two, we have the three C's, composure, consistency and being clinical and these will cross over to the majority of FIFA installments having composure has to do with while you're attacking when you're in those 1v1 scenarios as well as defending can you play it out of the back are you gonna be able to generate some sort of possession or are you gonna give the ball right back to your opposition and they kind of go together uh, being clinical taking those chances and then being consistent being able to repeat this over and over again what do you think about the three C's kind of a dirty mic exclusive Dirty Mike exclusive. Yeah, the best thing is definitely learning the way to shoot, uh, especially inside the area. Now, composure, the best type of composure shot on the game is the finesse shot inside the area. That works wonderful as well. Try and think two or three steps ahead, um, depending on if the uh, opposition does make mistakes, but definitely do the finesse shot inside the area. In this FIFA, something to jot down, you cannot play without thinking. Sometimes you can put your rinse, wash, and repeat game plan on and you get instinctive in past FIFA installments, but not this one. You must think about how you're putting your passes together and taking your opportunities in those 1v1 scenarios. Number three, we've got defensive pressure as well as being able to trap the opposition. If you've played a lot of FIFA 16 or if you're just brand new to the game, pressure is huge if you want to have success over the long run, especially in higher divisions because if you're able to win possession, in the middle of the pitch, or even in your opponent's defensive half, you're gonna get an instant counterattack, and that saves you a lot of trouble with the additional buildup. Yeah, definitely with the way pressuring is as well, forcing the uh, opposition into fast passing will more than likely cause a mistake just because um, of the fact where the direct pass works and also different pass weights. Well, it results in a lot of mistakes. So definitely putting pressure on your defense, um, on your opponent's defense and midfield will uh, get you a lot of extra goals. Absolutely, and most people are not at the point yet in FIFA where they're making driven pass after driven pass combined with some pace control, the no touch dribble. Not everything's flowing fluidly at the moment, so this can be a huge advantage if you can pressure, pressure, and more pressure for winning games and getting through division. At number four, we've got the types of players and understanding tactics and formations. Uh, for example, Bates and I have talked about this a lot on the trip. There's two different types of center attacking midfielders and they both are successful, but anything other than these two options doesn't work very well for me. You either need big and physical or a very agile, small, skillful center attacking mid to put your attack together. Are there any other examples you can think of? Player-wise, definitely well, the two players I've used in different varieties of teams, Valbuena, a very small, agile, got a decent shot, a very good pass as well. He's a brilliant type of camp. But on the other hand, you've got a player like Pullet, where if you guys are on PlayStation, unfortunately, you don't get that type of player. Pullet's very good at going forward, pushing through the defense, and uh, also drifting into the area. The cams are very important this year. Uh, my goal to game ratio, I don't think it's the same with you. The cams score a lot of more goals than they do with strikers this year. And the key is not to get a tweener. That's what I like to yeah. say. Someone who has good all-around stats, but doesn't excel in anything as a specialty. The, you the want... likes of Ozo. Yeah. The likes yeah. of you want to avoid those types of players even if they look good on paper they're not going to make that game changer type of performance you need on a regular basis to win more FIFA matches in ultimate team and head-to-head -head. last point we want to discuss passing percentage and the influence it has in FIFA 16 and I mainly want to focus on guys that used to run a lot or do a lot of skill moves in order to generate your attack that's not going to work in this year's installment well, just, I, I find that especially because that's how I used to be previous FIFAs, but passing is definitely key this year. This FIFA 15 was a run FIFA. Sprint, 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 body feign, body feign, ball roll. Now the creativity for skills needs to be in the final third or don't mess around with it, don't mess about. The players kind of hover on a lot of the tackles when you're defending and they're inconsistent with defensive measures. The way the 
player's body is positioned, depends on the type of pass you can do, especially with slow dribbling, thinking what you're doing, you're gonna benefit a lot from that. Basically, people say content is key, I'm saying passing is key if you want consistent results in this year's installment because you're not gonna be able to get the attacks you want on an everyday basis with the run or just the skill moves to cover that ground. But with that, that doesn't mean pass around the back to get your percentage up, as that won't make any effect. The way passing and the way Mike's describing it, definitely pass from left to right, uh, back and forth, and that's where you'll see the success of pulling out the defenders, drawing gaps, and then being able to uh, put everything we discussed in this video into action. And remember, if you enjoyed the content, to drop a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and of course, go over to Basins. Boys, coming up on one million very soon. I can see it. Oh, this miles year, away, miles This away. year, I can see it. We're gonna get eaten by sharks. So. <laughs> but if you wanna see more content from Maldives, uh, drop, drop that thumbs up. We have some stuff coming, but I have a lot more ASAP ASAP.